Ah, Carol, what a fine morning. No emergencies, no problems, everyone and everything working in harmony. Agreed, Mr. Mayor. It couldn't be a more perfect day in the city. Precisely! That is what's causing me great concern. I am wildlife expert Westbrook W. Sleet. This is Toby, my trusty cameraman and ally in adventure. Mr. Mayor, I believe a rare wild animal is loose in this city. Well, that's odd. There was no mention of anything at this morning's wild animal briefing. Then it's worse than I thought. The standing cow of the lowlands is a master of misinformation. The, the standing, standing cow, cow of, of the, the lowlands? lowlands? Precisely! Not only has it evolved a unique upright stature, the standing cow also possesses an intelligence so keen it leaves no evidence that it even exists. Excuse me, Mr. Sleet, but weren't you also recently involved in an incident involving another rare animal, the tree gazelle? This just in, Scandal Rock's nature host Westbrook W. Sleet, who is accused of faking footage for his popular TV series, Wild Wilderness. There it is! The elusive tree gazelle! What a majestic, beautiful creature! That was merely an equipment test. The tree gazelle is notoriously camera shy, so I knew we'd only get one chance to film it. Like the gazelle, Toby has high cheekbones, so I had him stand in. And moments later, we did film the actual gazelle, but that footage mysteriously vanished. So it's just a coincidence that finding this standing cow could restore your reputation after that really embarrassing and potentially career-killing incident? Precisely! And what evidence do you have that this standing cow is in our city? None, of course. The biggest clue a standing cow is here is the utter lack of clues it is here. Uh-huh, but you can see how that might sound completely crazy. Precisely. That is how clever the standing cow is. It makes anyone attempting to prove it exists sound barking mad so no one believes them. Well, since what you say lacks any kind of credibility, then yes. That said, if you must search for an imaginary bovine in my city, I'd ask that you not disrupt this perfect day. Wouldn't dream of it. Toby, symbols. Rudolph. We're mimicking the standing cow's natural habitat. This is exactly what it would sound like if one crashed symbols there as well. Welcome back to a special wild wilderness where we're tracking the elusive standing cow of the lowlands. The non-trail of no clues has led us here to this large, potentially dangerous urban center where we hope to humanely capture, then safely release the cow back into the wild. But to find a standing cow, one must think like a standing cow. Try our new pre-chewed hay. On sale! We graze, you save! Like all cows, the standing cow cannot resist pre-masticated hay, which is why, being so clever, it would never take such obvious bait, which is why it would, in fact, take the bait, because taking hey, the bait is the... what are you doing behind this convenient... <laughs> ah! It appears the standing cow has outwitted us again. This is enjoyably humane. Hey! I don't understand, boss. Why would the standing cow be in a diner? Precisely! A diner is the last place you'd find a standing cow. Therefore, there's a high probability we'll find him here. Of course! I don't get it. See, in nature, animals develop survival mechanisms like pretending to be other species to fool their enemies. The standing cow has no such defense mechanism, so it follows this ingenious creature pretend to be other species. In fact, he could or could not be anyone in this diner, perhaps both. Oh, like movie star Matt Finish! I know who you are! Well, duh, I only won the Mustache of the Year Award four years in a row. Ha! <laughs> good disguise. A little too good. So just remain calm. I'm just gonna pull your face off. But no, not the face! It's the ideal place for my mustache! What's going on here? Nothing, officer. I just need to pull off this creature's face. You're not fooling anyone! I'm arresting you for public disturbance, attempted removal of a celebrity's mustache holder, and disrupting an officer's lunch. Pardon me, officer. Westbrook W. Sleet here. We are tracking the standing cow of the lowlands through the city. Did you say standing cow? Precisely. Toby here believed Mr. Finish was the bovine in question. Clearly, the standing cow would never draw attention to itself by posing as a celebrity, which is exactly why it would pose as a celebrity, as that is something it would never do. Yeah, well, you heard my partner. We're letting you off with a warning. Thank you, officers. Keep an eye out for anything not unusual. Hey, why'd we let them walk? It was a choice between lots of paperwork or pie. It wasn't close. We 
must not be overlooking something that's not there. Some obvious lack of a clue. Say, boss, isn't it possible that the standing cow doesn't exist? I see the non-evidence is piling up, but if I understand this correctly, which I don't, isn't the very fact you believe it's here proof that it's not here? I mean, why would a standing cow even come to a large city? <gasps> Toby, your complete and utter inability to grasp the situation is the final piece of the puzzle. <gasps> I know why the standing cow of the lowlands is here. What is the meaning of this? I'm working. This had better be work-related because I am in the zone. The standing cow wants to live here permanently. Well, our city is the ideal place to settle down. Oh, you don't understand. There's no telling how a standing cow and humans will interact. It's a potentially volatile situation. Nonsense. Look, the city is calm. No panic, no bedlam, not even a moo. The only disturbances have been caused by you two. <gasps> What's that? Ah, yes, that's the giant spoon created to sit atop the new giant spoon store opening this weekend. No, that is trouble. This, Mayor Fleck, is a spoon fly, an abundant pest in the lowlands. As a natural defense, the standing cow emits an odorless pheromone to drive them away, but the pheromone affects all living creatures, including humans. If the standing cow were to see a spoon of that size, well, it could cause a pheromone overload and drive everyone in the city into an anti-spoon destroying frenzy. Think of it, a city without spoons. People forced to eat soup and ice cream with forks. It will It'll be mayhem! We have to stop that truck before the standing cow sees it! That's odd. Here's your change. Can I interest you in some pre-chewed hay? Well, boss, at least we stopped the truck. Wait. Have you noticed there are no clues that the standing cow is in this cell with us right now? There's a big difference between no clue and a non-clue. It's only a matter of time before the standing cow and that giant spoon cross paths. And then it's Spoonageddon. Okay, you two cowboys with me. Here, you don't have a lot of time before they figure out you're gone. Why are you helping us? This is why. My great-grand-grizzled soup fork. He once unwittingly crossed paths with a standing cow and held up a spoon as a sign of friendship. It was his way. Must have upset the cow, cause great-grand-grizzled suddenly began destroying every spoon in the village. Spent the rest of his days an outcast, broken and spoonless. That won't happen to this city, not on my watch. On your great-grandfather's soup fork, we'll stop this spoon catastrophe from occurring. The Eco Power Plant? Why here? Is there some non-clue we didn't miss? Is this where the complete lack of trail is coldest? What amazing intuitive leap of non-logic have you made to bring us here, boss? Uh, it's the only place we haven't looked yet. Yep, there it is. <sighs> the standing cow of the lowlands. Precisely. Magnificent, isn't it? People are gonna lose their minds. Massive crowds will gather day and night to watch every move this shy, reclusive creature makes while scientists intrusively study every inch of it. This is Westbrook W. Sleet here with the never before seen... No, we can't allow this. Standing Cow, you must leave. A city is not safe for a majestic being such as yourself. Quickly go, while you still can. Make haste, Cow! Boss, what are you doing? You're letting it get away? Precisely! Don't you see, Toby? We proved that beautiful creature really does exist. But I see now that its very existence is dependent on there being no evidence that it exists. Hiya! Uh, you could have just erased the memory chip. Precisely! I 
I can't believe Judge Strict Punish made us write, I will not cause citywide panic over imaginary cows 500 times on the blackboard. My wrist is so tired. The standing cow is able to escape safely back to the lowlands. That's all that matters. This is Gabby DeCamera here with Westbrook W. Sleet. Mr. Sleet, the missing tree gazelle footage was anonymously dropped off at our station with a note that just read, Moo. How does it feel to be exonerated? There's an important lesson for all of us, Gabby. If you take care of nature, I believe nature will take care of you.